Hey everyone, Yui here, back at it with another collection video. Not at 2 a.m. this time. <laughs> oh, I still work at that. But today it will be the Armored Alliance Bakugan. So let's get into this hot mess, shall we? Start off with Core Drago. Not gonna bother showing Ultima because I showed Ultima pretty damn well in the uh, Champions of Astoria video. Hey! Round two of fixing these dang cores. A little horn. And here we have Core Drago. And compared to Battle Planet Drago at the core. <laughs> that difference. Just wow. Okay, I need to ditch my hoodie real quick. Now, Drago Ultra. And I will be showing the uh, Baku Gear also. Not Battle Gear. <laughs> hey, that was a perfect stand. Perfect stand. It's not a thing that actually exists, but hey. Open up all the manual parts. Oh yeah, and Core Drago 400B. Versus the... 300, no, 200 of the original core. And 900 on the Ultra here. This looks so more, much more like Drago. Prove that point. Once it actually opens, get Battle Planet Ultra. Wow. That improvement. Uh, looks more like Drago than this. Now let's get that magma blaster. I really should have tried to uh, pull out the small pieces beforehand, but oh well. Because I'm going to go all out and show what's the small bits. Right, we're armoring up completely all the armor, Baku gear, a magma blaster. Can never really get these to go just right. Pew pew. And you know, this isn't battle gear, so there's no needed extra. Uh, B power on this thing, and if you wanted to, ta-da, <laughs> it works. <laughs> sort of, the head like really gets in the way, but hey, it's a thing you can do if you want to. All right, so let's see, Paris cycloids. Higher cycloid. The new uh was it cycloid originally? I think it was actually. But Mick Dipshit's partner Bakugan. McHugh. I honestly do not like McHugh. Got nothing against the voice actor, but damn the voice is so annoying. Oh yeah, cycloid. Put him on a the gate card here, so he can stand better. And he is 300 B. Good old cycloid, I guess. <laughs> now, Virus Nelius. I think I'm. Yeah, I have Nelius core in every faction except Arliss. I don't even know if there is an Arliss version of this core. Of fixing the course. 
flip out his little feet. And there's a Cornelius. I'll show with the original core version of Cornelius when we get to the darkest one. Let's see, there it is. 600B. It's Cornelius. Okay. Uh, let's do Pyrus Auxilator. Honestly, Auxilator's design is like really nice. Kind of sucks we never got a Ultra with it. Fix the camera, but hey, Melon really loves Auxilators. He has all the Auxilators, I believe. In fact, yeah, I want to say he does. But here is. Virus Auxilator. And it's pretty clear now, but just like the Battle Planet video, I am not doing the character cards. Maybe with the fusions, just because that's a different story. But 400B. Cool looking Auxilator. I really love the wing design, honestly. Just looks so cool. Okay, now let's do. Sure. Spiderus Batrix. Got with the uh, starter deck. It's staying closed right now, but sometimes my Pyrus Batrix like refuses to stay closed. So let's see, can we Nope, no perfect stand. Got not a thing, but I don't care. But Pyrus Batrix. My only problem with unboxing Patrick's is that I always forget they have the little plastic strips stuck on these bits. So, like, I go to pull them out, but he's just like, nope, still stuck on the plastic. Okay, 700B. Um, Pyrus Batrix here. Such a big nose, but it's fitting for the actual character design. He kind of has a big nose anyways. And as we will see later... Batrix and Enoch kind of do a mold sharing like Goring and uh, Pandox did. And now Pyrus Pagatrix in translucent red. Translucent plastic. Ruby Pegatrix, as I like to say. Uh, and I thought I got so good at rolling Pegatrix Ultra. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. Just did not have the right finger placement for rolling her. Because I found if you have your thumb kind of in this bit right here with the magnet down, can almost always guarantee a perfect uh, ultra flip and stand with Pegatrix. And uh, just like with uh, Nelius, I'll show the Pegatrix Ultra new with old Pegatrix Ultra when we get to the Chaos one. Look at that beautiful translucent pony. Uh, so I'm right there. 800B. I think like the second strongest Pyrus other than Drago Ultra. And she does have gear. Uh, let's see. There's that first. Oh, come on. There we go. Is this not one of my collection videos unless I'm digging for something, I guess? Uh, UE collection videos will probably have some sort of pause of digging for something. Because <laughs> he sort of plans stuff out, but not completely. Right, get the side bits of not quite crystal blasters on, and woo. There we go. She's all geared up and ready to fight. I don't know what technically the Pyrus version of Crystal Blasters is. Because, like, uh, Ventus Cyclinator, which I think is gear, Trox's gear, is Burn Cutter and Pyrus. But yeah. Set her off. Now, another one that will have gear. 
Papyrus Translucent Cyrus. Now I will say now I do not have Chaos Cyrus and it still makes me very sad. But I still need to get her off of Amazon which is the only place I've seen her. So yeah, another Ruby Cyrus here, that translucent red. And oop, hey, double core. And here Melon was trying to get Cyrus to double core in uh, that one brawl video which will probably be up before this, I don't know. But Pyrus Cyrus and that nice translucent red. Let's see, Herbie is right here. 300. And get out her Baku gear. Rather than blindly digging. There we go. So much easier. Okay, there's some idiot outside doing a completely unnecessary thing. It's 11.48 people. Some people in the neighborhood are trying to sleep. Idiots. There we go. Slight pause because someone's coming through the door. Okay. Sorry about that. But yeah. Pyrus. Batrix with... Not Batrix. Cyrus. Wow. With her gear. Still feel like this should have been more like that, but the way it sticks on the magnet, it... Yeah. We know Bolt Blow is Hey Osiris gear. Unholy Bow is Dark Osiris. Don't know what the Pyrus one is. <laughs> Sorry if you hear voices in the background. Stuff is happening, apparently. Okay, now for other Pyrus gear. Bakugan. Pyrus Translucent Py Ramparian. No, I do not have Ventus Ramparians. So I don't... I hear he's good, but I don't actually have him. Yep. I'm not surprised. That happens a lot with my Ramparian. Or at least my Pyrus one. Hello! Hello! Ramparian! There we go. He just needed a little help. Turn around the feet. He hits a Ramparian. Turtle dragon thing. 600B. Trying to talk loud just so maybe voices aren't heard in the background, but again, if they are, I am sorry. Let's get out the gear. Now, I don't know what the name of Ramparian's gear normally, but again, this is the Pyrus version, so who knows what its name is? <laughs> hey, Spend Master, Lit release the list. Or more cards, something. There we go. Guns. He's got guns! Of course, even they all get guns, technically. At least some of them. But Ramparian and Pyrus with gear. Again, that nice translucent plastic. So yeah, only two more Pyruses left. Got Pyrus Maxidon. Not Truncanius this time. <laughs> oh lordy. Let's see. Show me the elephant. Nope. Kind of wanted to flop, but hey. Virus Maxidon. I literally just tried saying Truncanius. Gosh dang it. 200, but I think it has a added effect on its card. I don't remember. Hey, long elephant trunk. These are supposed to be the ears, but they look more like hands. Because <laughs> you got both feet back here on the bottom. But this, these look more like hands than they do ears. Like, I can't see it. <laughs> okay, now a virus core. Pegatrix, in all hindsight, I should have done this one before the ultra, but oh well. And nope. See, that's what, two fails and they're both Pegatrix so far? Sounds right. Seems right. I already forgot. We. What? Here's core Pegatrix. Ultra Translucent Pegatrix. I like how the Pyrus, or this, the faction symbol in general, is kind of in the same spot between the core and the Ultra. Alright, and you get the gist at this point of, come on Pegatrix. That, I'll show original Pegatrix with new Pegatrix when we get to the chaos. 
equipment, 400B. Focus camera. Although watching back the other video when I thought it wasn't focusing before, it kind of was, but yeah. Pony. Okay, let's do the Aquas. Let's get Jim. <laughs> Jim, as everyone likes to call Core Hydras for Ermit Alliance. Uh, Callie Nova has a good explanation for that in her uh, video, which involved a gym. Oh, that's a four. A three. A three miss. A three miss, I think. And if you know, uh, like, pro playing, this is like one of the better Bakugan to have if you're going to use Aquas. Yeah, it is 400B, but for whatever reason, mine has had some sort of defect where when I got it I kind of accidentally touched it and it like smudged the B power but it is 400 yeah so my my uh, aquas hydrus is a little special now comparing to the battle planet core again major improvement now that's a hydrus that is a good looking hydrus compared to that. And now let's do Ultra Hydras. A little head there, just kind of like the uh, original Ultra. Well, let's see. I can usually get a good stand with Hydras. Oh no! He fell over because the camera is on. <laughs> Flip out his little feet. And yeah, it's a Hydras. The better looking Hydras. 600B with the core hydrus. This main is just like whoa. And now with uh, whoops, you weren't supposed to open it yet. Bad past trucks. Oh, the feet. Oh, okay. So yeah, back to the hydrus. Trox is getting impatient. Again, much better looking. Like, this is still very good. Like, don't get me wrong, I love Battle Planet Ultras since they were, like, the first new Bakugan we got. Even if it took me forever to get back into the reboot. Or get into the reboot. But, Armored Alliance just looks so much better. And as we know, sadly, Drago's the only returning one for Geogun Rising. Because... Shen gets the bar of shark men. If you haven't seen Shark Tar, just Google Shark Tar. He is a big buffy shark man. <sighs> okay, let's gear up Hydrus. Now I will say now my Chaos Hydrus Ultra came with a starter deck, so I do not have the uh, Baka gear for that Hydrus. But Wings of Aquas. And again, this works better on this hydrus than I can't even get it on. Best hydrus. Eh. It, it sort of worked. Not clinging to the magnet, but it sort of worked. And admittedly, it works the most on a uh, hydrus because of how it unfolds. Because that's how it is on Draco. <laughs> I'm not even going to try it on... Well, okay. No, Ramparians is backwards, never mind. I was gonna say maybe Ramparian, but no. So yeah, Wings of Aquas Hydrus. Ready to fly and blast. Okay, now, whoops, I did not realize Magma Blaster was still there. Now for one of my favorite uh, Armored Alliance Bakugan, Centipod. Sophie's partner. Bakugan, which I should have used the quotations on Cycloid also because they also technically use illegal devices for uh, their Bakugan. And Sophie didn't even have Centipod in the first place. If you watch the anime, you know what I'm talking about. And she has another annoying character, but I am not about to get into a rant on Sophie's whole gist. There we go. So Sophie is definitely one of those characters, though, that looks cute, but Damn, is she a bad character. Or at least annoying. But, Aquas Centipod, let's just put on that gate card. 
There we go. I really love this just because I never had Legacy Centipod. But hey, 600B. Kind of. Yeah, there it is. And if you. What I like to do is if you just do that. There we go. Look at that cute little centipod. Cute little centipod. Alright. And now for a Aquas Pegatrix. They, I have like more Armored Alliance core Pegatrix than I do uh, Battle Planet Pegatrix. As we will quickly find out. But it's a blue Pega. I do not have Ultra Pegatrix. Uh, Aquas, though. We have the Pyrus. Again, the faction symbol looking really gorgeous. Uh, 400B. And I... Obviously, yes, the, uh... Cores have, like, Bakugir ports, but I'm not gonna bother doing that. Just... This is, this is gonna be long as it is. I won't even deny it. Although, there's not as much... Aquas in this as there was in the previous one. Yeah, because everything else in this bucket is the other factions. So just this and one more for the Aquas. But Aquas Core Nelius. And <laughs> okay. It wanted it. It just didn't fully grab it. Now it can't let go of any cores. Same thing, flip down the feet, and it's an alias. Uh, 600B also. I think like all these are stronger than the darkest core. Th these are both 600. I still love just how that works. So gorgeous. Eh, it's an alias. Okay, now for the last uh, of the Aquas. Aquas core, how core. Because <laughs> Core Hawkcore, it exists. It exists, unlike with the Battle Planet line. Because I guess they just didn't want to bother with it. But yes, yeah, a Hellcore. I'll show off the OG Hellcore with the Ultra Darkest Hellcore, just since there's nothing to compare this one to. But 400B. And it's a Hellcore. Anyways, let's see, let's do some Ventus. Core Trox, another one that likes to pop open quite easily in the box. I will admit, this design looks cool and I like how the head looks, but they could have had this, hid the head a bit better, in my opinion, for bolt form. Ooh, he's lead. I will admit, though, this one is cool compared to the uh, original core, which flip out the arms on both these and I'll show them off. Now, this honestly looks more like a raptor head than it does a T-Rex head, but they have the same similar designs, but as where this one just kind of splits in the middle and raises up, this one, it actually, like, those pop out and then slide back. So his feet are more in line with the magnet. It is pretty nifty, but again, it's still not the greatest. And 500B. The same as uh, the original core, actually. <laughs> well, let's see, where is... Okay, buried in here somewhere. Oh, trucks, where are you? Huh. No, that's... No, there he is. Hiding under Darkest Gillator. Right. Trox Ultra. And the ball form. Another kind of flat, big magnet, but not as big as the original. Okay, let's flip. Hey! I do like how the mouth is loose enough that as he flips forward, the mouth opens up and you get that nice roar. 
as he pops open. Flip out all the little bits, and he has a Drox. <laughs> Again, the original Ultra looks way more like a friggin' T-Rex. Like, yeah. <sighs> Don't get me wrong, this truck's design is still pretty cool, but this just looks more like a T-Rex. <laughs> Anyways, back of gear time. Ventus Sequinator that loves to pop open in the gear case. I'll just bump the camera a little bit. Let's armor up tracks. Hold them still because this does not like to... There we go. Because if I don't hold them still... Oh! Just go figure, for once it did it. But Ventus Cyclinator... I do love that these parts actually can rotate, I will admit. And in case you were wondering, if you put it under his chin... Ta-da! <laughs> that just looks ridiculous. Oh lordy. There we go. Trucks all geared up, ready to fight. Uh, just check my phone real quick. It is 12.07 and we are only kind of halfway done. But again, at least it's not 2 a.m. <laughs> uh, still regret. Okay, let's do Miss China Riot's newest partner, and honestly one of my favorites, Barbetra. Let's just put her on the gig card so she stands. I love this Queen Bee. I really do. 700 B, Nice and strong, and if you watch the deck profile of sorts, you know her Evo is also really good. Uh, yep. It's a B. Personally, I don't know what this part back here is for. I guess to help balance it out, but really... Can, you don't even need it to get that full effect. But here's Miss China's new partner. And let's do another new Ventus Bakugan. Simoga! Simo's uh, official Bakugan. Let's see that. Simoga! He slid a little bit, but still opened. And there is a Simoga. 200B, but it has a helix bonus effect. Same with the next Bakugan we're going to show. And honestly, these like claw arm bits still remind me of Laser Man. Just the way they close and open reminds me of OG Laser Man. OG, it's like there's a new Laser Man. There isn't. Not yet. Yes, Simoga. The only Simoga I own. And now for... Oh, I realized I should have shown Winton's other new partner. Oh well. But is the plant a Rea Razu that if you've seen the anime you know belongs to a cat. Yep, a cat. Why not? We have lightning. So why not a cat? It, it's a some some not smoga, it's a Rea Razu. It's a plant. 400 B, also a helix effect. Currently the strongest uh, Ventus Bakugan, I believe. But I think we've seen that Ventus Fenica Ultra is going to be a little stronger than the plant here. It is a plant. I like the plant. Everyone loves the plant. Especially Greg. Greg really loves the plant. But Winton's other or new partner. We got Translucent uh, Emerald, as I like to say. Batrix. And let's get rolled. No! Did not want to hold that core. Oh well. Fix those up. Here's Batrix. And that nice, lovely, uh, transparent Ventus plastic. And 500B. Yeah, I don't, don't understand why. On this one, it's printed there, but on the Pyrus one, it's on the wing. I think on the Chaos one, it's also on the wing. 
I'll need to check that when I get there. There's the bats. Na 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 bat tricks. I shouldn't get copyrighted for that. It's not like it was actually Batman. Okay, Ventus Core Dragonoid. With if you know the uh, Evo, it's really good. Pop up the horn. Yeah, it's an event to Strago. Core. 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 There he is. Core Drago. And Ventus. 600B, so more than the tires here. And since Ultra is right here, let's do Emerald Ventus. Ultra Drago. Let's get rolling. Wow. I did not roll that. There we go. I'm not even going to go for three times. Let's open up all the good bits. There's Ventus Drago. Again in that nice green translucent plastic. Again, looks like emerald. And also with Baku Gear. So again, if Magnum was last year, would this be uh, Earth? Dirt Blaster? Wind Blaster? It's a mystery. Or not really a mystery, I'm just dumb. <laughs> okay, and wow. Boo doo boo doo brr. <laughs> That's better. And got them both with their big cannons. They're nice the big, big cannons. He's got a gun! They both have guns! <laughs> My voice kind of cracked there. Okay. One couple of Ventus left. Ventus Auxilator. Again, really love that design for Ventus Auxilator. <laughs> He's shy, apparently. Rip up the horn. That's death. And Ventus Auxilator. 300B. Uh, I don't know if that showed that great. But here's Pyrus Auxilator. Okay, and now Ventus Feral. Ajit's other Bakugan, but in Feral. Er, in Feral. And Ventus. That's not even that lame, and I'm flubbing words badly. And that was a piss poor roll. There we go. Okay, I did not realize he could double core. The more you know. Here's the Ventus Feral. 500B. Just because I can. And we're not at the Arliss yet. But Feral and Auxilator. Okay. Another Nelius. Ventus Nelius. Oh, I was ready to grab it. Putsies, Melius, and 400B. Okay, so not all of them are 600. Get out of here, Cycloid. Yes, an alias party. But none of them are the original. Okay, and now for the last Ventus, just in case. Okay, no, I'm definitely not missing anything. Got Ventus Pegatrix and Core. Oh, okay, she went flying. Here's right. the Pega. Just click the other Pegas. And she is 600. 
B. Pause my words for a split second. I don't know why. And now, I guess the darkest. Yeah, because that's what I did before. I am trying not to lose momentum as fast as I did. But it's a core hell core. Darkest core hell core. Okay, get that arrow. Again, that was a piss poor roll. Nope. Okay. It is a half core. 200B. Nice Cerberus Duggo. And with the Aquas Core. Now let's do the Ultra. Assuming I can find it. There it is. Ultra Health Core. The new Ultra Health Core. And. Okay. <laughs> it wanted the double core. Again, much more Health Core esque looking. <laughs> Bless me. Bless you. I don't know. Good. Alcor. And now with the monstrosity that is original Alcor. Which has gotten a bit better at closing, admittedly. Like, look at that. Again, looks so much better. <laughs> Especially in the three head department. But, of course, we got Baki Gear. Oh no, we need to back up a second. I forgot Batrix gear. Ventus tornado thing. I looked in the box, I'm like, wait, there's still green in here. Oh no. More organized? Ha, huh, that's what you thought. Put on the little side bits. There we go. There's Batrix with his full gear. Okay. Back to Halcor. About the smarter bits. And then the gear itself. Now admittedly I really don't know if these go this way or the other way, but because they seem like guns, but when you think about it, Halcor doesn't really have guns. And for design purposes looks or works so much better because they kind of get in the way of these bits facing the other way but yeah Car not carnivore claws oh I really don't remember the name of Halcor's gear but yeah and <laughs> it weighs the head down but there you go I think the only other one this would really work with is Ramparian. Oh, well, yes and no. Ramparian's gear works perfectly on Halcor, but not the other way around. Oh yeah. He has a Halcor. Now, let's see, where is Neelius? It is Neelius time. Oh, Neelius. Oh, Mr. Neelius. Nope, that's a Gillator. Okay. I am blind. I see the Ultra. But where is the core? Oh. It was like in the very corner. I really am blind. But new Neelius and core. Let's get that Neelius. Quarters. 400B, much like the, uh, was the Aquas one? No, it was the Ventus one. But, new Neelius, and I love that. And, comparison with original Neelius, better core design. Especially the heads, these look more like a snake. These actually look like Neelius' faces. Face. They have 400B. And because 
We gotta get the Council of Nelius in here. There we go. <laughs> okay, and because for more uh, comparison purposes, oh no, I need to do the Ultra Nelius first. Derp. Now, if you know this Nelius, you know he is good at double coring. Let's see if we can get him to do it. Oh, it, it didn't quite do it. Maybe the Aurelis will do it. But it's an Ultranelius. Really love how the wings work. It kind of gives Darak vibes in, in a slight bit. 600B, much stronger than the original Ultra. Pull out the arms. <laughs> yeah. Again, don't get me wrong, this looks good. But better. Alright, and now let's get some scorching swords up in here. Okay, let's get his little arm braces on. So I do like how they have like an extended hand there. Get those on there. And scorching swords. <laughs> Flame swords. <laughs> okay. Now, darkest core dragonoid. <laughs> No Darkest Ultra Dragonoid, though. Which is a shame, because I do have an Evo for the uh, Ultra. Yeah, no. Stiff Horn. And Darkest Drago. 300B. With his friends there. I will admit, I do like doing the uh, opposites there. Get the Ventus out. Like, it just looks so cool. Moving on. Darkest Hydra score. Let's see, there's the arrow. They stop painting the arrows at some point down the line. It makes me kind of sad because it really helped with, you know, finding the arrows and being like, okay, roll that way. But it's a Darkest Jim. 400 B with Aquas Hydras. Speaking of Aquas Hydras, I'm gonna need him here in a bit. Uh, let's see, let's do Cyrus next. Sylvie's other partner Bakugan. And it's hard to tell with the darkest, but it is translucent plastic. Like you can kind of tell on the camera. But it might show better when she's... Oh, okay. <laughs> she tried. Yeah, you can see the translucent way better when she's open. Even the main body is uh, translucent. Let's see if I can... Uh, flashlight, there we go. Alright. Whack. Come on. Yeah, you can sort of see the yeah now you can sort of see the translucence in the body uh no turn off flashlight <laughs> pay no attention to my messages there that was an accident but it was like barely eligible mm. now gear time Do that unholy bow. Okay. And boop. There we go. Cyrus all geared up. Darkest Cyrus. And Pyrus Cyrus. They both translucent. Too like how the green parts are still green. 
I also just noticed these are only painted on the one side, while these are painted completely. Interesting. The more you realize. And again, more ideal for that, but that's how it sits on the magnet. Okay, and I forgot Magnus' new Bakugan. I'm on a roll. But here we have Darkest Enoch. Which the more I look at the uh, character card, I realize he looks kind of like Tico. Remember Tico, the taco, the big bad of Battle Planet that never got a Bakugan? Yeah, 700B. He has an Enoch. Let's just get that gear out before I forget. At least with the less gear that are in there, it makes it harder to find pieces. Let's get those braces on. Okay, and... <clears throat> wow. Let's try it again. Twilight Axes! I just love Twilight Axes. Good card and good gear for your toy. But yeah, he is an Enoch. I'm actually gonna stop this bit of the recording. It's gonna be a long video anyways, but I need a break. Well, this will resume momentarily, which for the video will just be like a split second. Okay, drink some water, pet my cat, we're good. Okay, darkest cycloid. Again, for the video, it's just gonna be like a split second, not even a pause. Right. Put on the gate card so it stands better. Darkest cycloid, 200B. Oh, uh, there's Pyrus cycloid. There you go, we got two eyeballs now. Ha! Oh, that was a bad joke. Okay, two more for uh, Darkus. See, where is the. Uh, now, there we go. Darkus Feral. I really like the Darkus designing uh, paint scheme for Feral. Okay. Fix the matrix again. I really should have done that while the camera was off. Oh well. 600B. And with Pyrus. Not Pyrus. This is Ventus. Ventus Feral. This is the Sphinx. Now for our last Darkest. Before we get into the chaos. Darkest Translucent Gillator. Which again, it'll be easier seen in a. Uh, when it's open. Let's see, magnet. And. Wow, it didn't even double core. Okay. Flip out the feet. Flip out the feet. I never really know if these are supposed to go like that or that. I think technically like that. Helps it stand just a teensy bit better, but he is a guild door. Uh, 500. B. And gear time. I don't even know what uh, Gilator's gear is. Even in Pyrus wise. Do the uh, side bits. Wow. There we go. There we go. Got the wings and the cannons. He is a flying alligator. Wee crocagator. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, it's chaos time! Burr, 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 burr. I am sorry, but not sorry at the same time. Okay, core, pegatrix, and chaos. Let's get the gal. Nope, there she goes. Don't fall, don't fall. Oof. I just keep kicking the camera. I am sorry. I am sorry. I never claim to be a professional. Okay. There we go. Here's the Pega and her natural attribute. 
400 B. Let's see. Council of Pegas. And we're not done yet because there's still one core Pega. You can stop bumping the camera. I am sorry. The Council of Pegas. And now, for that comparison, original Pega with new Pega. So sad Pega tricks is not returning for Geogun Rising, but hey, at least we get Fennica, I guess. But yeah, still kind of like this design better over this one. Just, I don't know. Something about the design, I just, yeah. Ultra Pegatrix, though, I do like uh, Armored Alliance Pega design more than the Battle Planet one. But here she is! Chaos Pega Ultra. See? Well, like I said, sometimes it's a good f flip. Get all her manual parts open. Ta da! And she is 500B. And before we show her with her Pyrus counterpart, let's get some Crystal Blasters. Is that the right bit? No, that's for the uh, Pegatrix, or Skeletor core. But yeah, that, that was the target one, so it got the little gear pieces, but I'm not going to show them in that Fusion video. Okay. Let's... Now, Crystal Blasters, it's confusing because, like, these are how the toys are, but the card art shows the white part on the bottom, even on the big part. But on the toys themselves, Crystal Blaster is opposite. Okay, yeah, it's a Crystal Blaster. And Byers, Pegatrix. They both ready to fight. Fighting gals. And again, love that. Uh, faction symbol, that's what it is. I spaced hard for a split second. Okay. And I don't have to worry about showing Leah's new partner, Bakugan, because as I stated before, I do not have Chaos Cyrus, unfortunately. Okay, here is a Chaos B. Hey, Asperbetra, the air conditioning just turned on. But it's okay. Because Barbetra, I don't know, is a bee. A white bee. A 400 bee bee. <laughs> oh, that was stupid. Unintentional, but stupid. Let's see, where did she go? Oh, Miss Barbetra. Barbatra. Oh, right here. I'm blind, as usual. But with the Ventus. Babies, come and sting you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, let's do Chaos Bat Tricks. In translucent plastic. That kind of looks like a diamond. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of people's problems with the translucent chaos is that they look way too close to diamonds in their uh, translucency. I mean, if you're s smart, you can easily tell apart a diamond from a translucent, but yeah. Let's see, where was Pyrus Batrix? There's Pyrus Batrix. The council's a bat. And... This bat trick has gear. Well, there's only three gears left. But, and not counting the ones that go to the Fusion Bakugan, but those gears will again be shown in, the big actual gears will be shown in the Fusion video, not the little small bits. But there's bat tricks. Okay, so this one that's printed on there also, so. I think it's the Arliss I'm thinking of that it's also on the wing. But 700B, all done up. And there you go. He's a Beatrix. And once again, I have a lovely pile over here 
that I will regret when I have to pick it up or put it all away. But, uh, Chaos Translucent Treacherous. Lightning's new partner, but I don't have in Darkus. Can we? Nope. It went flying. But 500B. Again, looking like a diamond. Like if I had diamond treacherous, I would just show like how it is. Max, let me go grab diamond pegatrix real quick. I'm gonna actually pause this so there's not an, even more of an awkward pause. There's gonna be so much to stitch together, but that's okay. Let me just flip out all her manual parts. Like, look at this. You can see why people think the translucents and chaos are diamonds. Like, look at that. The only real difference is the uh, clear uh, sky blue parts. But otherwise, they look just like a diamond. And that is why people got confused for a while there. Because people thought diamonds were coming in four packs with the uh, normal Bakugan, the gear packs. So it's like, nope, those are just translucent chaos. So yeah, let's gear up Traitorus, 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 Tomato, Tomato, Potato, Potato. I lost my point. I never had one. Oh, I'm just rambling. Okay, put on those bits and this is gonna... Yeah. It's meant to be like that, but the force from these parts spinning is enough to send the whole thing spinning. But there's Treacherous. All geared up. Ready for some Smackdown. I think the... Oh, what was the darkest? version. The clubs. I don't remember, but yeah, there they are in Chaos. Which actually has a name, because the card is in Fusion, or not Fusion Force, Shield of Astoria, as we've seen from leaks. Okay. Chaos. Hydras Ultra. Let's see. Da -da. And, whoa, nope. Don't go. Don't. Damn it. Whoopsies. I'm sorry, Hydras. Probably should have paused the camera, but I thought I could catch it before it fell. I say pause the camera, but all I'm doing is stopping the recording. There's the perfect stand. Can you flip out the feet? Here's the Hydras. As I stated with this Hydras, this was in a starter deck, so I don't have the Chaos version of the gear, but just in picture this in Chaos, I'm shaking the table. But 500B, there they are together. I love Chaos. <laughs> and now for Chaos Plant, Ra Razu, uh, da 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 da, kind of Jurassic Park. There we go. Oop. It landed on a magic shield, it's two frost drag. Okay, let's bring in the Ventus plant. And there they are. Two good plants. 600 to be on the Ventus. They like the plant. Greg really likes plants. <laughs> but Greg isn't here. I do have one more plant, but we will see that in the Arris. Arris? Arris. And we're baby, baby, baby. Don't mind me, I'm just dumb. Let's see, where did the bees go? Because I'm gonna need them again later. There they are. Uh, na -na -na. Chaos. Max it on, which I really should have done sooner because this is stupid Everett Ray's partner Bakugan. I hate Everett. <laughs> Another. I just really hate a lot of the villain characters <laughs> this time around. Just because the whole Havoc thing makes them way too clingy and obsessive to the members of the Awesome Brawlers and it's just, uh 
I know, it's a kid's show, it's a kid's anime. I shouldn't be putting this much thought into it, but here I am. But, hey, us. Next one, again, looks like arms, not ears. 600B with the Pyrus Maxidon. See those two together. Now this is another one that has a, the uh, wrong art on the character card, which I may show like at some point if I like go through my binder or something. I don't know. You can easily look it up. Google, it's your best friend. Okay. Chaos Crox Ultra. Well, actually, before we get into the Ultra, let's do the core. Core Chaos Trucks. There we go. Flip open the arm bits. He is a Drux. And I should have... Nope, oh, there it is. That is easy. But with the normal Ventus, again, looks more like a raptor head than a uh, T-Rex head. 300B. Mm, yeah. Now, Ultra Drux. Which... Since he has gear on him, that's easy to f figure out. Mm -hmm. There we go. T there he goes. Open up the feet. Currently the strongest Chaos Bakugan. But Chaos Drax Ultra. 800B. My favorite thing, I didn't show this with the Ventus one, but... Wow, that's just the mood. And with the Ventus. And of course you can give the gear. But yeah. There they are. I have almost all the Ultras in Chaos, actually. The only one I'm missing are Hellcore and uh, Nelius, actually. I want Chaos Nelius, but it's in a four-pack. A hard-to-find four-pack, so... But here is Chaos Drago Ultra. I need the core. Yeah. I just need Chaos Core Drago, and then I have all the main cores and uh, Chaos, not counting Feral and Auxilator, though. I think Feral's in a deck? Sounds right. I think it's in the Aquas Hellcore deck, actually. I don't know. But Chaos Drago 700. And he does not have gear, but we'll still bring in his friends. My phone is vibrating off the other Bakugan. Okay, someone calling me? No, it's just a bunch of messages. Varies. Hey, Astrago. Okay, now pull out the Council of Neliuses again, because I'm going to need them. Uh... Um. Okay. <sighs> Note to self, if I ever do this again, which would only just be for like an update, don't throw the ones that you know you'll need again later right back into the pile. So you have to dig for them. Although knowing my track record, this note to self will quickly be forgotten. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, Alice Cornelius. Uh, lordy. My it's Bakugan Brawl. Okay. As always, you know the drill flip out the footsies, and there's Hey, Alice Cornelius 600B. I need to sneeze. <laughs> Ugh. Sorry. And the Council of Nelius. Nelii? Neliuses? I don't know. There they are. Just missing the airless. Okay. <laughs> uh. Just making sure anything else I need to dig for is an easy uh, reach. Okay, there we go. Another recent acquire, Chaos Core Hellcore. 
got one same day on Saturday as the Ultra Hel <coughs> Hydrus, not Halcor. And same with uh, Halcor, we'll see later. Good. No! Wow. He went. But, hey, that's Halcor. Uh, 300B. And I just saw them. Aquas Halcor. And Darkus Halcor. Look up, they're good puppies. <laughs> Very good puppers. I'm sorry for stuffing those. Okay, and now moving on to the Arliss. Let's do the important Arliss. Someone's missing. Oh no, just right there. I thought Carol was missing, but no, the way he was, I just didn't see him immediately. Okay, let's do Feral first. Ajit's partner, Bakugan. And I'm going to try and roll this. It may not pop open because my ROS Feral has some slight issues. Let's see. Okay, we'll do it one more time. Yeah, it just like... Uh-huh. <laughs> Point proven. Yeah, my ROS one has some issues. But here it is, our Liz Feral 500B. And get the other two ferals in here. The Ventus and the Darkus. And I just realized I'm going to have to dig for Auxilotors. That's fine. Okay, our Liz Auxilator. I, can't, I love Armored Alliance uh, our Liz, just because the gold metallic paint. And they're continuing in Geogon, and I love it. Oh, dang it. There we go. I would do a Geogon video, but I only have that one starter pack, so it's not worth warranting a video. And you can kind of see it there, but it's... I always have a hard time reading this. 300, that's right. I bumped the camera again. Good. Arliss. Auxilator. And here we have Ajit's partner Bakugan. Okay, now for that Council of Auxiliators. Of course, I think the only other one was the Pyrus one. Somewhere. Buried. And here. Oh. Once again, blind. But. There's my three auxilators. Looking, looking good. As gold dragon creatures tend to look. Okay, and we need that council of Pegatrix again. Uh, great, I lost her. There she is. But, Arliss Pegatrix. There we go. Another one that has a very good Evo. And this one's also kind of rare. Same with Barbetra and Ray Razu, actually. Because this wave was like never actually released until we found them in Five Belows. But I think at this point we've pretty much cleared out all the Five Belows. Uh, Maxidon was also part of this wave. Where did he go? There he is. I think the only ones I didn't get from this wave were uh, the Diamond, the Aquas Maxodon, and the Aquas Auxilator, actually. But yeah. Council of Pegas won last time. And as you can see, way more Pegas than the Battle Planet. I do not have Ultra Arliss Pega, sadly. But hey. The ponies, the ponies, the ponies. Okay, I'm gonna need the hydruses again. I just keep forgetting all these ones that I need. But Arliss Hydrus came in the starter deck. Again, beautiful gold. I love it. Okay. And Hydrus. Nope. At least the Chaos one stood. 
about the footsies. And there we go. Chaos Hydrus. Aquas Hydrus. And again. Ta da! <laughs> Got an Aquas on your Aurelis. 600B. Yeah. Ease a Hydrus. Okay, let's see. I only need a lot one for this. There he is. I'm like, where are the Scorching Swords? At least the ones with gears on them. Easier to find in the pile. Uh, there we go. Arlis Nelius. Again, with the Silver Neck, which is apparently rare. At least according to Greg. Mm, can we double core? Nope. I'm actually going to fix that real quick. Okay. Wow, that sucked. Well, it sort of did. It was doing that a lot on Sunday also. It was just flo flooring? Flooring. Throwing the cores. But my ideal thing is for to pop open there and then grab the red fist there. Because, again, as you can see, double cores easily. Sometimes you can even triple core if you're careful enough, but hey. Try not to bump the camera too much. Fudge. Oh, biscuits. There we go. Okay. Artless Nelius Ultra. So I have Nelius in every faction if you count this as my Artless Nelius. I need to calm down a bit. I'm talking fast. I'm getting hyper. Don't know why I'm getting hyper. Of course, Scorching Swords can fit nicely on the back there. 600B. This is good with its epic CC. But there's the Nelius. Nelii. Again, I don't know. The Neels. <laughs> okay, let's do the Lady Bee. The Queen Bee. I lost the Ventus Queen Bee. Whoa. Almost lost Pegatrix off the table. Okay, there's the plant. There she is. But my first Barbetra, actually. Arliss Barbetra. Hey, Green Fist, she gets her bonus effect. And put on the character card. Arliss B400. B. 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 Now, I would put this to make it a full beehive in that deck, but I actually plan on getting the darkest Barbetra. So, plus darkest is just a little bit stronger than this one and gives me a second magic shield for that deck. It is the bees! I love the bees! Okay, now for the golden plant. Shiny golden plant. It's shiny. And Ray Razu. Hey, you didn't flop over. Of course, I think I figured out that my Arliss one does not open up as much. Yeah, no, the Ventus and the Chaos ones open up way more than the Arliss. It's like something, yeah, you can see back here. These go back a little more, but something's stopping this. Like the spring is too tight or something, it can't get that full effect. But, look at the plants. A big ol' happy plant family. Plants. Okay, let's do Arliss Matrix. Which, again, I covered all the other Matrix. I'm a genius. Yui is a genius. Oh, I just realized there's some metallic silver on Matrix. Okay, Matrix! Woo! Perfect stand. Okay, yeah, it was our list one that the B power is also printed on the wing. But it is 600B. Okay, we need the Batman, the Batmen, to convene once more for this final council meeting of the bats. Uh, where's the fire bat? 
There's the fire bat, which I also did not show with. Just real quick, you can see where they share the similar molding on Enoch and uh, Bat Tricks. I bumped the camera again. The mold sharing a bit. Again, just like Gorine and Pandox. But here are the Batman. Bat tricks. Okay. Yeah, there's only two more that I will need to pull out for comparison out of this ginormous pile I've created. Well, three more, but one of them I set off to the side. I thought on that one. But RLS Halcor. The other Halcor I got the same day as the Chaos Core and the Hydrus Ultra. Okay. Yeah, I wanted it. It tried. Flip out a feet. Uh, 400B. Did I even show this Halcor's B? If I didn't, it's 400. But there's the doggos. The big doggos, not the core doggos. With the claws. Okay. Yeah. He is a golden doggo. Okay, and now golden treacherous. Oh, Jesus. There he goes. Wow, that went far. Uh, surprisingly, it didn't open though. Hi, camera. Oh, that dust and cat hair. I'm sorry, treacherous. Okay, nope. <laughs> There we go. That's a good flip. By the way, watch uh, Pokemon Armored Alliance on CartoonNetwork.com. Hashtag not sponsored. I can't even get sponsored. With your uh, TV provider needed for access, so yeah. Or you can watch Battle Planet Season 1 and the first half of Armored Alliance on Netflix. Again, hashtag not sponsored. I can't even get a sponsor. But... There is Treadress all geared up with the not diamond translucent chaos Treadress. Crystal, that's what I call the chaos translucence. And I don't really have one for the darkest translucence. I think it was, I was saying like shadow. I don't know. But there's those two. And now for our very last. Bakugan of this collection, this very long, again, I'm sorry, but Arliss Gillator. My only complaint with this is there is a known factory error where this Gillator comes with the wrong character card. Because instead of Arliss Gillator character card, the character card you get, where is it, is for Arliss Rayarazu. And the reason there is this mistake is because their character cards have the same, like, card ID number on them. So, that's why that happens. But he is a guilt door. A crocodator. And now, for the very last gear pieces. Get on the rocket butts. And there we go. With Shadow, Translucent Darkest, Galtor. Oh, nice wings. So, yeah. Let's do what I did last time. Pull up the important guns. Let's see, I need this core for Barbatra and Rare Razu. Because they do not like to stand up on their own, much like Cubbo. Let's see. Queen B. I just had you. Where'd you go? There you are. Okay. Let's see. Amelius. Hydrus. Bat Tricks. Na 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 na. Hey, 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 don't copyright me. 
Drago. Oh, Pegatrix got Crystal Blasters turned around. Pegatrix. Uh, Enoch, Enoch, Enoch. Enoch. I'm probably going to have to shift the camera, but that's fine. Let's see. Centipod, where are you? There you are. Scooby-Doo, where are you? Centipod. Okay, so let's see. Halcor? Halcor. No, Halcor's not up here. There's Halcor. Okay, Trox. That's Drago. That's Trox. Okay, is that all the important guns? I believe so. No, Maxidon. Maxidon. There, there's the elephant. Okay, now I believe that's all of them. Yeah, okay. Yes, that is indeed all of them. So yeah, hope y'all enjoyed that. I, another very long collection video. I am sorry, I just think I planned these things out, but then I really don't. So hopefully the fusion video is a little small, smaller, not smaller, more organized-ish, which I will do that after I record this video. They will not go up at the same time, obviously, but hey, you can kind of just be like, hey, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Check out the links in the description below. Uh, I have a Bakugan video playlist if there's a video you haven't seen, so check that out. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye! As I was going to clean everything up, I quickly realized I didn't show Pegatrix with her original Ultra. Haha, <laughs> whoopsies. But yeah, there you go. Ultra Pegatrix with new Ultra Pegatrix. Kind of still like this design better, but hey. Anyways, that is the end of the video. Bye!